cancer continues to be one of the most fatal diseases worldwide. Despite advances in treatment, cancer relapse, distant metastases and drug resistance continue to kill patients. This video will introduce a possibility of tumor recurrence, cancer stem cells. Cancer stem cells are a subgroup of cancer cells that are capable of self-renewal, proliferation, differentiation, plastic adaptation, and immune regulation, thereby mediating tumorigenesis, metastasis, and therapy resistance. Because of the above findings, a cancer stem cell model was proposed. The model, also new as hierarchical model proposes that tumors are hierarchically organized. Within the cancer population of the tumors, there are cancer stem cells that are tumorigenic cells and are biologically distinct from other subpopulations. They have two defining features, their long-term ability to self-renew and their capacity to differentiate into progeny that is non-tumorigenic but still contributes to the growth of the tumor. This model suggests that only certain subpopulations of cancer stem cells have the ability to drive the progression of cancer, meaning that there are specific, intrinsic, characteristics that can be identified and then targeted to destroy a tumor long-term without the need to battle the whole tumor. Therefore, cancer stem cells play an important role in tumor genesis. So what do cancer stem cells come from? For this problem, scientists have made some hypotheses. Origin hypotheses include mutants in developing stem or progenitor cells, mutants in adult stem cells or adult progenitor cells and mutant, differentiated cells that acquire stem-like attributes. Why does the tumor recur after chemotherapy? Let's look at this picture. In the picture, each clone, depicted by the different colors, contains a mixture of cells that vary with respect to their stemness and or proliferative ability, including relatively dormant cells. Together these factors represent the functional diversity present within single genetic subclones. Chemotherapy can reduce tumor burden by eliminating the highly proliferative cells within subclones, while sparing the relatively dormant cells. Since cancer stem cells are generally dormant, it can escape damage of chemotherapy and accumulate mutations. Following therapy, these cells can see to new cancer. The design of new drugs for targeting CSCs requires understanding the cellular mechanisms that regulate cell proliferation. According to previous studies, among the signal pathways that regulate the function of stemness, the most studied are NOTCH, SHH, Sonic Hedgehog, and WNT beta catenin signaling pathways. Based on previous research results, we can know that the treatment of targeted cancer stem cells may get a better therapeutic effect. Functional regulators of stem cell, stemness, signaling pathways in human cancers have brought new opportunities to target CSCs and reframe cancer targeting strategies in clinical settings. However, challenges remain due to a lack of complete understanding of CSC plasticity slash heterogeneity and the limited efficacy of individual stemness inhibitors in cancer treatment. That's all. Thank you. If you want to learn more, please load my website, www.creativediagnostics.com.